Thank you for giving this opportunity to the uh, two of us. Uh, I'm Chris Stofavehe, uh, current PS for Mines and Energy. And here beside me is uh, the project manager for Tina Hydro Project, Mr. Pradeep Vema. Uh, <coughs> the project is the largest infrastructure project in Solomon Islands and is being delivered under a public-private uh, partnership arrangement, PPP if you like. And it's been coming for some time, but uh, we, we are now reaching its final uh, two, two year stages the, for final construction. Thank you. The project is of national significance. Uh, the project will bring substantial benefits to the people of Solomon Islands or the life of the asset, which is 80 years. Uh, the project is one of national unification. It has brought all walks, it, it has brought people from all walks of life together. And the people of Solomon Islands are supporting this project. The government of Solomon Islands is supporting this project. This project, when it goes into operation, will save 18 million liters of diesel on an annual basis. So 18 is one eight, and that will be equal to a saving of SBD 140 million on an annual basis. The project will also help the government of Solomon Islands to meet its targets set in the Paris Accord 2016. Uh, the project will reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by 50,000 tons carbon dioxide equivalent on an annual basis. The, the project will supply 70 to 80 percent of the energy requirements of, of Honiara and its environments. Th thank you, thank you very much, uh, project manager, for, for the, those details. Uh, just in line with uh, the uh, government policy, uh, the government is, is really committed in making sure that there are uh, affordable and uh, energy costs in the country, and so counting on TINA as, as one of the, the tools that will enable uh, not only the reduction or displacement of fossil fuel usage, but also uh, in the reduction of, of, of the tariff. So with that, I, I would uh, sincerely really want to, to thank uh, the Solomon Island government for supporting the project, uh, the government of South Korea, uh, the concessional financing parties, particularly uh, Asian Development Bank, World Bank, uh, Abu Dhabi Development uh, Fund and Economic Development Corporation Fund from South Korea, uh, Department of Foreign Affairs uh, <coughs> and Trade in Australia and the Green Climate Fund for the grant and concessional loans to develop and to build this project. Uh, my thanks also to Solomon Power, uh, to, to the people and, and, and the government of uh, Guadalcanal province and not forgetting the communities and the people of the project area, particularly uh, Malango and, and, uh, and Bahomea. Thank you, PS. Uh, the project has made substantial progress over the last 18 months. The access roads, 21 kilometers of access roads starting from Black Post Road to the powerhouse site and to the dam side are substantially complete and nearly 90% of the earthworks have already been delivered. The construction company, the EPC contractor, Hyundai Engineering Company and its subcontractors are already now at the powerhouse site uh, excavating for the uh, penstock. They have already excavated and has designed the portal for the surge shaft and the portal for the tunnel boring machine. Uh, and they have also started work at the, at the switch, yard, uh, switch yard site. At the dam site, the construction team has already completed the coffer dam along the, along the river and they have now started work on the diversion culvert, which is likely to be commissioned in March 2025. Thereafter, they will start the coffer dam, upstream coffer dam, and then by June 2025, they will commence the excavation work for the dam. And currently, they are at the uh, 
uh, at an elevation of 160 meters, which is the elevation for the intake gate. That's where the tunnel will connect. They have already completed a lot of rock breaking. And at the power house site, over the next 18, next 12 months, they will actually start the construction of the tunnel boring, the tunnel. So the tunnel boring machine has been ordered. It's likely to be delivered to Honiara in March next year. It will be assembled at site, taken to site, assembled at site, and they will start the tunnel boring in June next year. The tunnel is 3,200 meters long, and the boring machine will work at a rate of about 8 to 18 meters every day, so about 250 days of construction is required for the tunnel to be totally bored. The dam is 72 meters in height, and the dam is 234 <laughs> meters wide. So you can see that it's a very, very large infrastructure project, something that has not been delivered in Solomon Islands before, and very good progress is being made. I'm very, very confident that the project will be completed definitely by the beginning of 2028. Thank you, PS. Thank you, project manager. Yes, uh, and uh, as part of the project implementation, uh, the government is, is also engaging in uh, a community benefit share project. Uh, this is, again, for phase two, funded by uh, the World Bank. And it's, it's around uh, five, 5 million USD. Uh, so uh, the uh, CBSP project is, is, is a royalty scheme where CBS fa fund about 5 million SPD annually indexed to CPI. We are working in collaboration with the communities in the project area for, for this project. And thanks a lot to the women uh, men and, and, and children of the area that are really supportive to the project. We are uh, currently carrying out trainings for locals who are also prepared to be working on the uh, project itself when it kicks off. So there are many, many uh, local uh, young youths that are also engaged in the training process. Uh, and yes, uh, uh, in recognition of the goodwill and assistance in delivery of this project, the government can not uh, uh, thank the people of Bahomea and Malangmo. But uh, yes, we really appreciate the participation of locals uh, in, the, in this project. Thank you, PS. I'd just like to add to what the PS has said. So under the Community Benefit Sharing Project Number 1, which was funded by the Japanese government of USD 2.8 million, a uh, lot of water connections to the communities was provided. Electricity connections was provided to 141 homes. And as the PS said, the community benefit sharing project number two, five million US funded by IDA, by the World Bank. So that is now in uh, implementation stage. It will provide electricity connections to 287 homes and water connections to 20 communities, training, and also will help develop the uh, the CBS fund, uh, as the PS mentioned. That is, you know, providing a benefit of about five million US, sorry, five million SBD to the communities on an annual basis, indexed to CPI. So, in conclusion, again, I would just like to add that on the fourth of November this year, just next week, they want to have, uh, they will be having a, a ceremony at site at the power of site to celebrate uh, the success of the implementation so far, uh, the progress that they have made, and they will also like to highlight the uh, future works, which is you know going to be occurring at the dam site, the power of site, the switchyard over the next 12 to 18 months. Thank you.